Okay, I legitimately need to sharpen these. So I also recently got these Faber-Castell. I think these are the... Faber-Castell has two types of charcoal pencils. One is compressed and the other is natural. I'm pretty sure these are the compressed ones. This is a cute little sharpener by Karen Dash. And I'm probably using it wrong, but... This one's core isn't super centered. So hard. I wonder how good this focus will be. Oops. I'm, I suck at everything. <laughs> okay, so I don't think you can buy these anymore, this sharpener, but if you can find it, you should definitely buy it. I. I know, wish I had a backup, but to be honest, I have three extra blades. It comes with three extra blades. It also came limited edition in red, which I would totally buy if I ever saw it. Um, I don't trust myself with using, do you see how I'm, how I'm doing it? I don't trust myself doing this with a real knife, like an X-Acto knife. I'm doing it over this mat because uh, to collect all this little charcoal powder, because I tried cleaning this counter earlier and all the wood. I already um, screwed this up. It's not like easy to manually sharpen pencils, but it's also, you can't really um, put charcoal pencils in a manual. You can't really put them in a pencil sharpener. They'll break or whatever. I also use this for pastel pencils. I also kind of use this for like my walnut halo pencils because those you can't buy anymore and I love them and I'm like oh my god I don't want to waste anything and also because at least my set of those the cores are super off center so I think I'm just um it's just less risky to um It would be risky to put them in a pencil sharpener. Okay. Nice, nice. Looking good. Does this show up? Kinda, I'm so bad at things. There we go. Yeah, so fast and easy. Uh, This blade isn't, I'm not worried about it like like spinning out like I am with my X-Acto knife. I also kind of think I don't have the right blade in my X-Acto knife, to be honest with you. I don't remember, I have it over here actually. Or do I? Oh, God damn it. Oh, I guess it says here, size so of, the number 11 I'm pretty sure like that's not the one I that like is the best one to have <laughs> I wish you could buy the exacto knife caps in bulk separately because I cracked mine and I really wish it still worked oh here's some actual kind of good advice if you start with your hardest one first, where did it go? Here. If you start hardest first, then your medium, then your soft. So that way, like, because this is the one that's least likely to break or whatever. And then this is the second least likely. And so then by the time you've done two of these, you're like ready. You're, you're more ready to take on the, the one that's most likely to break. You're doing this type of thing. Yeah. Tips, man. Art process tips. Real life shit. This was called, I can't remember if I told you, it's by Karen Dash. It's the, it's called a pencil peeler. I think they named it. Oh, nice. It's not broken. It just looks kind of crooked because I don't know how to do anything. Oh, it is broken. Damn it. So I'm going to show you what I do with the broken ones. I'm going to put them in my pill crusher, which is right now still dirty. Um, because
because I put Stabilo Woody in here, which is waxy, so that didn't go great. But I'm going to put this and then all the other little pieces in here and turn them into powder for other things. Dude, I'm pretty sure these are the compressed ones, which were supposed to be less breakable than the... other ones I have. I like charcoal pencils because like they're kind of less messy. You work kind of. You can't expose too much or it'll break. There we go. This Karen Dash one always breaks on me. It's a soft. Sorry, this has to be so boring. Um, let me try to remember some interesting things I read the other day. <clears throat> Dude, so I haven't tried Nitrum or whatever charcoal. I am intrigued by their charcoal holder thing. But anyways, they have watercolor charcoal or something like that, as well as um, powder charcoal. I, I forget if what their name is. But I legit don't understand. All charcoal is water soluble. So why do they have a, I mean, it's marketing. They're trying to sell stuff, I guess. But like for real, why? And why? Who's buying it? And then the powder charcoal from, I'm, pre I'm pretty sure you're better off. I'm pretty sure I did the math because it's, it's ex it, you, you get a lot, but it's also expensive. But I'm pretty sure I did the math, and Pan Pastel is a, a better price. Dollar per whatever measurement unit I used. And isn't the Pan Pastel pigment used charcoal? Check me on that. And I can double check myself. But I... I don't understand the difference really like why would you need to buy powdered charcoal versus using a uh, pan pastel versus using all the charcoal that you're gonna just break anyway now I mean nice it didn't break for once there we go my charcoal pencils. Okay. So now what I'm gonna do is try to discard all the wood and salvage all of the product that I broke off. See how it goes. Wait, did I just zoom in? I think I just zoomed in and I didn't mean to. The other thing you 
to do is honestly probably just like spritz this with water because the wood isn't water soluble but the charcoal is that would probably be like a decent way to separate these I'm surprised my nail polish that I did haphazardly at the very beginning of this stream is still intact actually and I didn't get it everywhere that's magical Real life shit, guys. <laughs> Whenever, like, I am doing these types of things, I always think of that part in Zoolander when he's like, you want to see the real part of male modeling that, that they don't show you on in the magazines or on E! or something like that. I'm pissed off I'm not getting the, the exact quote right. This is like the real side of trying to make shit, the part they don't show you in the magazines or on the E! channel. Is that what's, what it's called? What? Why can't I think of what it's called? I also, when I suck at stuff, always think about how I want to be at the Derek Zoolander Center for Child for Children Who Can't Read Good and Who Want to Do Other Stuff Good Too, because I want to do other stuff good too. <laughs> Dude, didn't his dad die recently? Oh, Jerry Stiller. Okay, yeah, so, um... Don't do what I'm doing. This is probably dangerous, and if you're gonna use your nails, like you're ruining. You shouldn't use your nails. I'm pretty well. Maybe it's, it's not as bad as using your teeth to do stuff, but I think it's kind of like that. What's horrible is I'm like about to give up on all this anyways because I myself am now like bored I'm gonna like put it to the side and try to pretend to finish this later Oh my god, my little uh, giant headband sun scarf thingy matches my nails. So now I'm about to get charcoal on it. I have allegedly uh, an Amazon order arriving today that hasn't arrived since I started the stream and it included some
from Faber Castell oil pastels by like their um you know what I bet like my bad my stupid exact knife will work good for this will work well for this uh their does what did we get whoa what do they call it the design creative design creative studio designs I don't remember but whatever that line is not the kids line but the like crafter line and I bought them because um first of all I thought a couple of the colors were really unique but second of all because uh oops of the reviews I saw and the swatches I saw online people were like complaining that the colors are transparent but I love transparent oil pastels personally I think they're so unique I think Probably because I kind of started in watercolor that I feel that way. I love them. I can't even explain to you how... Wow, this really isn't worth it. Because um, I just, like, did, in fact, scrape it off, and it's so thin. It's basically just glue with the black powder on it. Good to know. Okay, so... Um, they look like Jolly Ranchers because in watercolor, you want the luminosity. You want to see um, the white of the paper shine through. I don't, un it's just kind of crazy to me that anyone would dislike that. I, I get it, okay? Like, I get it, but I also just, how could anyone dislike that? So it's like candy it's like carbonated it's like carbonation it's just so effervescent and amazing and I love it and then um, yeah so that will be fun because maybe I will depart here maybe eat some things maybe not and then come back when i have those oil pastels okay if there's a better way to get all the tiny little wood pieces let me know because if anyone will ever watch this This is just because I am gonna salvage. So there's wood shavings still in here, but it's fine. Oh my god, wait, I should wait till this air is done blowing or it'll just destroy everything. <clears throat> Guys, do the do. <laughs> my hairband matches. Do the do. My cat's eyes are also the color of diet do. It's a, and peridot. I would never really cared a whole lot for peridot, but then literally less than a month ago, it occurred to me that peridot it actually looks like the color of mountain dew and now i like peridot <laughs> okay this is gonna be a disaster it's fine everything's already a disaster dude what is this Oh, because I, you know, dude, sorry my counter's so gross. I thought I zoomed out on this all the way. Now you're going to hear me pull out this stool so I can actually shout the situation. There we go. Oops. <clears throat> okay. Not 
that this view is worth a shit, but... <laughs> Damn it. Okay, here's what I'm going to do next. Um... Do I have this? Yes, I do. Okay. I'm going to take... So this is some screwed up tracing paper that Blick sent me, and then they sent me a not screwed up pad. It's it's screwed up. Just, it's it's screwed up. It's not the measurements. It's supposed to be blah, blah, blah. I'm going to spray this, though. So that's why I'm using it for this type of thing. Nice! <laughs> Oops. And then I'm going to... Do I have a second one, actually, after all? So yeah, so then, I mean, so I have all these, like, dirty papers like this that I, um, use, that I wipe brushes on, that I, to clean off my, like, oil pastels, I will, um, um, scrub those on, you know, these types of papers. And then use them for collage or incorporate them into stuff. So, I don't know. I just feel, I don't know. I feel like, you know, it's so crazy. There's, like, so much waste inherently involved in creating. There just, there just is. That then when I save stupid shit like this. Um, I don't know. waiting to make sure it's like in focus why do I not know where the camera is nice okay hopefully this looks cool because I can't even see what I'm doing okay Yeah, there you go. And then, um, this could go a couple ways. I could, um, use it right now or put it in one of my little mini jars. Oh, fuck. I think the little mini jar I want is not actually in here right now. So, nothing ever goes according to plan. So, I'll revisit this later, too. Yeah, if I come back on later, I might show you some completed sketchbooks and then my new oil Oops. Uh-oh. <laughs> and then my new oil pastels, assuming those have arrived. Anyways, thanks if you, you know, took the time with me or end up ever watching any aspect of this at all. Have a good one.